people know that we're not gonna go quietly, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, he's not gonna go into the White House without acceptance. Yeah, we can't be silent about this. Not my president. Not my president. Not mine either. Indigenous resistance. <laughs> what don't you like about him? I mean, misogynistic, racist, Islamophobic, xenophobic. Just greedy. Which this country already is, so we don't need no president that's going to support that. Because we're not Trump supporters, he's a racist, he's a sexist, and he's going to give away all of women's rights, and he's going to take away Obamacare, which is right. Because people need it. Um, I wanted to show her the, the, what it means to be an American when you don't believe in something, that you do have a voice, and that you can peacefully protest. I wanted to give her that example. Do you guys use the Affordable Care Act? Um, not currently, but because she has a pre-existing condition, um, it's something that will affect her when she gets older, yes. Can you tell me about it? She has type 1 diabetes. Um, so, um, I have to wear this thing. It's an insulin pump. So that'll, that could affect her from getting it insurance. Definitely, in yeah. Or make us go broke. <laughs> We're not going to stay silent. We're not going to go away. We aren't crybabies like Rudy Giuliani has called the protesters. We simply are making our voice heard, which is our First Amendment right.